What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here. I got, I think, 14 eBay orders to pick and pack. And I'm gonna take you guys with me, show you what sold, how much I paid for it, where I got it, all that good stuff, in hopes that possibly you'll find this kind of stuff and know what is in turn valuable. Also, we have a little puppy who just laid down behind me. Look how adorable she is. She's a cutie patootie. So, let's go. All right, so the first stuff we're gonna grab is gonna be down here in this crazy inventory that is really starting to overflow. I need to, uh, I don't know, I can't really reorganize this stuff. It's just I have to wait until it sells. And you know what? It is what it is. But the first thing that sold is this guy right here, this green lantern figure. Let's see if I can slide him out without knocking everything over. Beautiful. This guy right here. He sold for $49.95 with free shipping, 50 bucks for this little toy. I picked him up at, yeah, I got this guy at a little, not a little, at um, a pickup I did at this guy's house uh, somewhere in Connecticut. He reached out to me, watched my YouTube video, said he had a whole room of vintage toys. Not all of them were vintage. This guy's not old. This guy's from 2016. So he said he had like a whole bunch of toys, a lot of vintage ones also. I still have some of the older things listed in my eBay store, but I'm working on the remnants of these. You could see I have a few more there. Um, most of the other stuff you see here isn't from that pickup. Uh, some transformer stuff possibly, but that's about it. So 50 bucks. I paid him like a huge grand total for everything. I forgot exactly what it was, but there is a YouTube video on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have a few bucks in them, like five bucks in them. So five and a 50, super happy. Next, we have a Playboy magazine, and I picked these up in New York. Another YouTube viewer reached out to me and said he had a whole bunch of uh, video games and toys. He was getting out of reselling. He had a huge collection of stuff. This one sold right here for $12.95 with free shipping. And when I got to his house, I looked through everything. I bought a whole bunch of video games and then we were trying to come to terms on a price and then he remembered he had a whole box of Playboy magazine. So it was kind of thrown in at the end. You see some more down there. I have this box filled with them. I think that's my 1980s lot. I already sold my 90s lot. And it was kind of a thrown at the end. I've sold one lot for a hundred dollars and then i've sold a bunch of singles anywhere from like 10 to i think 40 dollars on the high end but this one's not bad for 13 bucks now you can't ship this media mail i don't believe okay this one i just looked inside of it i can ship this one media mail this one has no advertising anywhere in it it's just words and pictures so i could ship this via media mail which is pretty awesome it's only gonna cost me 280 to ship Next, I picked this up at a local buy. Um, another reseller that I know, let's see if I can, there we go, slid it out. Another reseller that I know uh, found this lady that lives only a few towns away from me and she had stopped reselling years ago but she still had a whole bunch of stuff in her basement. And this one sold for $29.99 with free shipping. Hopefully it's not going too far because it's kind of big. Um, it's not super heavy but it is kind of big. Um, and he found this lady at a thrift store semi near me and she started talking to him because she saw him scanning things and then he went to her house to pick through everything, realized it was insane, then he contacted me and we've kind of been going halves, uh, just picking through stuff and I build a pile, he builds a pile and then we buy it. Well, that came from there and we're pretty much done now We've picked out everything that we can. I just purchased a whole bunch of DVDs from her, uh, CDs, like a whole bunch of media. And uh, when it came to the toys, I just put stuff together and we build out an offer. I probably have a dollar to three dollars into this. And again, it sold for 30 bucks. I'm thinking it's closer to a buck, so that's not bad. All right, next thing is down in here. Oh, there we go, the very first one, Polaris, I think. Let me double check, I have it right here. Yeah, Polaris and Shatterstar. So let's see, Shatterstar should be so. Oh wow, look at that, the very first two, that's awesome. Same person bought both for a grand total of $30.90. Now, I got these uh, just mm, late last week or so, and I picked up a whole bunch of video games and figures and things like that. I traded somebody two Nintendo Switches and $780. Now, they were Nintendo Switch Lights, which only cost me about $200 or so. So I'm all in all in just under 1200 bucks on this deal. And um, I, I was kind of let down in the beginning. So I started looking through all of these right here. And 
I was like, yeah, I'm scanning them into Amazon. And I'm like, okay, good, good, good. Not really paying too much attention. They look sealed to me. I saw uh, sticker tape on the back. And lo and behold, after I made the deal and I thought this was going to be just the box of figures would be a couple hundred dollars or so, I get home and I'm about to list them and I notice, take a look at that, it's missing a piece right there. See that empty plastic? They're all missing a piece. <laughs> almost all of them like two were still sealed all the others he took like a little piece out of them so i couldn't sell them as brand new so that kind of ate into my profit a decent amount it didn't cut it in half surprisingly these still sell pretty well but it still kind of stunk and i ended up probably losing out on at least a hundred dollars because of that still gonna make great money on the lot like i said i had about eleven hundred and eighty dollars invested into this deal and i think my profit after that 1180 is going to be somewhere around $2,500, maybe $3,000 if I get what I really want to get out of everything. That's not always the case. A lot of times prices fluctuate and more likely some of these prices are just going to go down throughout the year. So I'll probably get closer like $2,500. So still ended up being a great deal. All right, we have a PC game right here. If you guys see anything that you want to buy from me here on these shelves, my eBay store is linked down below. Shoot me a message with an offer if the item has best offer on it, and I'll probably work something out with you guys. That is a Game Boy Advance in this cool case with a lot of games. You'll see it on my eBay store. <laughs> I sold this Unreal Tournament game for $9.49. Free shipping. This was kind of a throw-in. I remember I bought a huge box of PC games uh, with DVDs and CDs, like a whole bunch of stuff. And I actually didn't know any of the PC games were in going to be in this lot. So, I mean, this is kind of free. So I sold for $9.49. Not bad. All right, the last thing that sold is another one of these. Well, the last thing down here anyways. And look at that, it's the third one. Wow, the front three sold first. That's funny. Uh, Kitty Pride, and she is missing a helmet up there and a piece right there. And she still sold for $59.99 with free shipping. She was going for around $90 or so on Amazon. So that is a huge pay cut I'm taking. Well, 90 into 60, that's really not too bad when you think about it. Super lightweight, it's probably gonna cost me around $4 to ship it. So cool, I'll take it. The rest of the stuff that sold is upstairs. So we're gonna go grab that stuff. A lot of the stuff that I list, I keep in my office, like DVDs and just small things, but I wanna eventually move everything down here. I wanna redo my entire office. It's a complete mess and I don't wanna keep inventory where I'm working. It just takes up space when I have space down here, but I need to uh, kind of clean up down here because what you don't see is this huge pile of stuff in front of me that I need to organize and I might do some of that today. I'm not sure, it's gonna take more than a day though. All right, I sold a hat. Now, I'm hoping it's here, it's not. Okay, that's fun. Uh, I'm not sure where the hat is because they used to be here, but I have been moving things around. Oh, I just put it up here, okay. Oh, it's the last one too, sweet. I got a whole bunch of these hats, these Jägermeister hats. Uh, this one sold for $17.95 with free shipping, and I actually got this during a local store that was going out of business. They were selling off all their inventory. I bought so much stuff, and they were doing like fill a bin for like $15, and I just threw, they had like a shelf with all these hats. I think I got five or six of them. They're all brand new without tags uh, because they have their little cardboard insert in there, and I just threw them in one of the bins, so <laughs> I probably have 10 cents into this because I filled those bins with CDs, DVDs, video games, uh, just toys, just a bunch of stuff, right? And this sold for $17.95, like I said, so I pretty much have nothing into it. Pretty sweet. Next, we have a Game Boy Color. This guy sold for $49.95 with free shipping. This came in a really recent buy that I did, a local buy. Uh, I forgot what I ha probably have into this. Maybe five bucks, probably a little bit less, honestly. Maybe, maybe like three to five dollars, but we'll say five bucks. It sold for $49.95, and this sold within like 20 minutes of me listing it. Uh, and I didn't even price the cheapest on eBay. Um, I priced it where I thought it would sell. It's missing the sticker right here, and when I turn it on, the sound is a little low, a little lower than normal. And I mentioned all that in the description, and it sold so fast because the screen is in such great condition. I think that's what sold it. People don't really care as much about the sticker back there, and I guess the sound's not the end of the world. It does still work, so 50 bucks, I'll take that. All right, I sold something to a viewer who reached out to me on eBay. Right here, look at these, these uh, buttons, these Spider-Man, there's a lot of Joker, not Spider-Man, Batman. 
Uh, there's Batman right there. There's a bunch of Joker. And these sold for $15. Uh, what the heck was her name? Let me see. Amy. Her name was Amy. All right. Thank you, Amy. Uh, 15 bucks. Very lightweight. Going to go first class. Under four ounces. Probably cost about three bucks to ship. Oh, yeah. I got these at a tag sale. Um, I kind of threw these. There was a huge bag of pins and I threw them in extra and all of the pins which was probably close to 50 maybe a, maybe like 75 um, I have maybe a dollar into all of them so right here is probably like five cents all right we have a video game sale over here on this shelf uh, let's see if I can find it there it is super easy Tekken 4 and it is complete and it's very clean and it's very nice and this sold for eight dollars and 98 cents free shipping this again was just part of a bundle a lot of things i buy are part of bundles nowadays i do so many local buys you can see a bunch of movies so if anybody's interested i've been <laughs> i have a bunch of movies that aren't really worth it for me to sell individually i'll make like a buck or so or less each so I'm just lotting them up and selling them that way. I'm selling like 10 movies, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, about 10 movies per lot. And I think I'm selling them for $15 or $17 shipped. So I'm only going to be making about a buck or a little less each on them after fees. So if anybody's interested, I got thousands, probably close to 10,000 or so DVDs and CDs that... I just don't know what to do with, so I'm gonna try lotting them up and throwing them up on eBay. We have another DVD sale right here, Pretty Woman. I just listed this last night. Brand new sealed, only sold for $6.98. Um, it's gonna cost me $2.80 to ship, and I kind of, so here's something cool. I'll show you guys. I have this app called eBay Calculator, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. There's no ads even on here, so it's all good. So the sold price was $6.98, like I said. So we'll input that. Shipping charge, I don't charge anything. My cost will be $2.80. And the item cost is zero pretty much. This came in a, a huge bundle. I might have a penny into it. So we'll just keep it at zero. And then done. And then check. And I'm going to make $2.98 on this one item. So about three bucks. Now that's not including my poly bag that I put this in. But since I have an eBay store, I get free um, bubble mailers. So I just slide this into a bubble mailer, ship it off so it doesn't really cost me anything. I guess if you really want to get into the nitty gritties, printing out a label maybe cost me five cents or less. But I'm making about three three bucks on this guy. So not bad for a $7 sale. I'll go as low as I think $5.99 or even $4.99. Let's see. If we go $4.99 at that $2.80 to ship, Still make a buck twenty-five. If you're getting stuff for a penny or free, if they're throw-ins, a buck twenty-five isn't that bad. A DVD is super quick to list. I take a photo of the front and a photo of the back, and that's it. It takes me all of thirty seconds, and then to ship it is maybe another thirty seconds. So I'm in it one minute for a dollar profit. I'll do that every once in a while, just because I buy such big lots. If I have a thousand of these, that's a thousand bucks. All right, we have another video game should be in here i actually yeah here it is boom mario kart super circuit for the game boy advance this sold for 13 dollars 79 with free shipping and this came in a local buy where i just said i bought some stuff i can't remember what thing was part of that but whatever um i probably have a couple bucks into it oh the the game boy color was part of the same buy uh so i have a couple bucks into this not bad though for 13.79 Okay, we have one more thing that I have no idea where it is. I don't even really remember listing it, so this will be interesting. Hopefully it's in here. Um, you guys will see it when I show it to you. Okay, so it's not in here. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, sweet. Easy, easy peasy. This right here, it's a Jax TV plug and play. Has Pac-Man, Rally X, and I don't even know what that game is. Uh, Bosconian? Something like that. And this sold for $29.95 free shipping. Uh, this was actually in a plug and play that I bought from a thrift store like two years ago. And the plug and play didn't work. And I just threw it in a bin. And I was going through the bin, you know, the other day. Well, probably like a month ago. And I saw this sticking into the back. So I pulled it out. I'm like, oh, let's see if this has any value. And it did. Sold for 30 bucks. It was listed for a little over a month though, but not bad. 
All right, guys, that is everything that I sold on eBay. That's not the only place I sell, though. I also sell on Amazon. Now, I don't really ship out my own orders on Amazon anymore. I was during the whole lockdown because Amazon's timing, their shipping delays were insane. But right now, I've just been shipping off all my stuff to FBA, and they handle all of that. Uh, yesterday, I don't remember exactly how many sales I had, but I only did about $300 in sales on Amazon. Um, that was Sunday. Today, I'm only at about like 40 bucks or so. So really, it's been a slow two days. I did just uh, ship out about 176 items to Amazon on Friday. So they should be getting there around today. So I should get a huge influx of sales over the next couple days while that stuff sells. Um, but yeah, so that's another place I sell. I also sell locally a little bit. Not too much. I have a few things listed on Facebook Marketplace. Haven't had any sales there lately. Um, all that's been kind of slow, but I am testing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm looking at a whole bunch of stuff in front of me that I really don't want to show you guys because I've been pulling it out and it's just taking up space. So I'm going to get all of this stuff shipped off and hopefully make a great amount of money. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.